Hello everybody out there in the bookverse, it's Stephanie and today I'm back with my favorite video of every month and that is my monthly TBR game and I have such high hopes for this month. <laughs> The game has been so nice to me the last two months and I feel like I'm just kind of on a roll. It's going really well and I'm excited to just keep going with it. I feel like I have a lot more reading time this month as well so I just feel very confident this month. Going into the game I rarely have this much confidence so even if it's not the nicest to me I still feel pretty good about being able to complete it because I am going to have so much more time to read. I also want to say that for this month I feel like I have a good motivation to read because I am going to be hosting my very first readathon. It's going to be a 48 hour TBR mini star hop readathon and you guys should definitely check out the announcement video down below because it's going to be so much fun and you should join. And if you haven't watched any of my vlogs of me playing this game, it's just like a mini version of the big TBR star hop. So definitely check out the announcement video down below uh, because it's going to be it's just going to be so much fun. I already know it. I have loved playing it every time I played it so far. So definitely come join us. So let's start off talking about the books that I got on my TBR for last month. We had a pretty decent stack, but not out of control. So we had Where the Drowned Girls Go for a book with a cold setting. Spoiler, it wasn't super cold setting. It looked cold on the cover though, so I'm still counting it because it's kind of hard to know sometimes. Um, next we had Monstrous for final book in a series. This is the final book that is out right now. Then we had Era of Fire for a TikTok book for my spinner wheel. They Never Learn for a standalone. Air Awakens for a new to me author and The Veiled Throne by Ken Liu for a book over 500 pages. And I finished all of them except Air Awakens and I'm already part of the way through Air Awakens just a little bit and I definitely will finish it before the end of the month. So yay, I'm really excited about this. This is two months in a row that I have completed my TBR and I feel very, very good about it because this wasn't as easy as last month. It was still doable, but it wasn't like quite as quite as easy. You know, like that's a decent stack, especially the Veiled Throne. Like that's a closing on on a thousand page book. So yeah, I'm very pleased with myself. I also feel like I definitely need to thank Becca's book Oplathon for helping me be inspired to get through all of my books because I did not read for about the first three months weeks. I did not read for about the first three weeks out of the month. So I had a lot of reading to catch up on once I finished my test. So I definitely crammed the weekend of Becca's book Oplothon and I feel really good about it. Like that was a very good time. So we are not adding a black hole onto the board and let's go ahead and jump into roll number one for June's TBR. Okay, I am so excited to see a clear board. It feels like it's been forever. Um, so it's clean, it's clear, there are no extra black holes. I'm so excited. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into roll number one. Okay, six, not bad, right in the middle. Moon prompt, Ooh, I think I moved those around, my bad. A random number generator. Okay, this, this is gonna be interesting and fun. Okay, so for roll number one, we got a moon prompt and for that we need to do a random number. So the way this prompt works is I have to make a list of however many books I want to and then I need to random number generate and whichever book that the number generator picks is the one I have to read. Okay, I'm back, I made a list. I will put the list up here for you guys to see so you have like the visual representation of it. Um, and we are gonna go get a random number generator. I did use 10 as my number just because I felt like it felt like a nice round number. I put a lot of books on here that I'm really interested in so I feel like this isn't going to disappoint me no matter which book is chosen. I am a little nervous since it is the first book on my TBR that it's going to be something hefty because I did put a couple on there uh, but I think this it's it's fine. Like I have a lot more reading time in June so here we go. Random number generator one through ten. I am screen recording so you guys can see it as well. And let's generate three. Okay, great. Let me, 
me look at my list because I can't see it on the screen like you can. Okay, so the book that was number three is Ever Chore by Brandon Sanderson and Jancy Peterson. This is one of the novellas within the Skyward universe, the Cytoverse, I think is what it's called. And I think this one follows, oh, what's his name? It's the boy, it's her boy in the book. Okay, I can't remember it. Um, I think his call name is Jerkface, but it follows him and I am pretty sure that this one is set between Starsight and Cytonic. So I'm going to be reading that book. I'm really excited for it. Plus it is a novella that is thrown on and I like starting with shorter books. I feel like it kind of boosts my confidence. It's not as short as a graphic novel like I have been doing the last couple months, but it's still shorter. So yeah, and I'm really excited to get that one on there because I've been very interested in reading these Skyward novellas. Okay, next roll. A five. Not moving too quickly, but it's okay. Star. And our prompt is a booktuber fave. Okay, this is, this I can do. Okay, next spin, we got a star, and for that one, it's a booktuber fave. And the book that I chose is Fool's Assassin by Robin Hobb. Oh, this is the first book in the final trilogy of her Realm of the Elderlings. This is the Fits and the Fool trilogy. And I can't wait. I can't wait to be back with Fits and the Fool. I love them as characters so much. I'm ready for, to be emotionally wrecked by this book, to just have her rip my heart out. I'm ready for it. I'm excited for it. I'm really looking forward to continuing on with the Realm of the Elderlings. And yeah, this is chosen as booktuber fave for Katie from Brightness Katie Reads. She absolutely adores the Realm of the Elderlings. And I'm pretty sure that this is her favorite series within the Realm of the Elderlings. I could be wrong, but I don't think that I am. So yeah, this one is going on my TBR and I am so excited about it. I absolutely love Robin Hobb's writing and these characters and I just can't wait. <laughs> Roll number three. Ooh, a nine, I like it. Another star, woohoo. Okay, treat your shelf. Ooh, I always like this prompt. I love going book shopping. Next one, we got another star. And for this one, I get to treat my shelf, which means I get to buy myself a book. I'm really excited about this. And the book that I am choosing to buy is Beach Read by Emily Henry. So I have been interested in getting a little bit more into adult romance, just like the rom-com type romances. And I have heard that Emily Henry is just amazing. And particularly my friend Abby from the channel Abby Salter really loves her and has loved all of her books so far. So I'm gonna jump in with that. It also sounds kind of summery and I wanna get into the summer vibes. I am not positive how much I'm going to like this book because I hear it has a lot to do with like emotional things going on and like maybe grief and things people are going through and I don't know if that's what I'm looking for in like a beachy rom-com, but we'll see. I might absolutely love it. But yeah, that one is going to be going on my TBR for June and I think it's kind of perfect for that time. Roll number four, going along at a good pace. Five, okay, not bad. Ooh, a sun, our first sun. A title that is 10 to 12 letters long. Ugh, that could be hard, but we'll see. Okay, so for the next roll, we got a sun, which is fine but the prompt is a book with 10 to 12 letters in the title, which can be a little bit difficult to do. And the one that I decided to read is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Again, yes, it has 10 letters in the title. We are good. I really don't know much about this book except it is a, an adult rom-com and it has to do with book lovers. So I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Plus I'm kind of putting a lot of fluffier books onto this TBR, I think, because I do feel like going into June, going into the summertime, I'm gonna be wanting to read a little bit more of those, maybe go sit outside in the sun, get some vitamin D soaking in that I haven't been getting since I've been inside studying all the time. 
So I think this is going to be perfect. Maybe sit out by the pool. It's going to be great. It's going to be so much fun. So yeah, I'm really excited to throw another rom-com on here, which is very rare and you guys are probably very surprised by, but hopefully I like them since I have two of them on my TBR. Okay, so we don't want a three or a 10. Anything but a three or a 10 and we're good. Five. Got it. Another moon. And the prompt is a special edition. I have quite a few special editions, so this should be doable. Okay, so for this prompt, it's a moon prompt, and we need a special edition. I'm stretching this just a little bit. Hear me out. It's my game, my rules. But... I am going to be choosing Zodiac Academy book two. Now, I don't actually own the special edition yet, but I have ordered it. So I'll put a picture of the special edition up here so you can see it. I am very excited because they're absolutely gorgeous, but I don't actually own it yet. So I will actually be reading the regular edition. I'll go grab it. I'll be actually reading the regular edition of Zodiac Academy book two, but I do have a special edition that's coming to me. So I'm going to go with it because I definitely want to continue on with this series. I have kind of been threatened by one of my Patreons that this better be on this month's TBR. So for the sake of my safety, I'm going to be throwing this on. I didn't absolutely love the first Zodiac Academy. It, uh, it had its own things that were good and bad about it, but I am continuing on with the series. I am kind of excited to get into it. I hear that it improves significantly as the series goes on, so I'm really looking forward to that. And I, it's it just looks like a good time. You know, I busted through the first one. It was so easy and quick to read, so I'm really looking forward to this. This one's called Ruthless Fae, so I'm a little worried that we're gonna have a little more bullying going on here, but I'm gonna get through it. And I think that the world is interesting and fun and I do like a school setting. So yeah, this one is going on as well, even though technically the special edition isn't here to me yet. I, I think it counts. Okay, what could potentially be our final roll? We just don't want a five. Oh, oh no! I knew, I knew the game was being too nice to me the last couple months. Oi. Oh, okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. So we landed on a black hole. I felt like it was going so well. It was going so well, we were getting through it. It was just like, boom, boom, moving along, no problems, and now we're back at the beginning. It's... <laughs> It's sad, but this is probably a good month for this to happen, so I'm gonna be okay with it. We're gonna just roll with it. I'm gonna draw out a book. You know, I, I probably should have seen this coming since I have been starting with graphic novels and it's been a good luck charm, and I didn't this month. So I kind of brought it upon myself. I should have made a list of 10 graphic novels. Anyways, this is my wormhole slash black hole jar. I have all of the series that I am in the middle of within this jar and whichever one I pull out, I read the next book in that series. Some of them are series that I wasn't planning on continuing, some of them that I'm really excited for. So let's see what I get. Oh, there's like graphic novel series. There's super long ones like The Wheel of Time. Here's our choice. I haven't, I did update it fairly recently, so it should be okay. Oh my gosh, open. Okay, okay, I'm okay. I'm not mad about this. So we have The Faithful and the Fallen series by John Gwynn. Let me go grab the next book. Of course, oh, I didn't take it back downstairs. Put that back in because I am not going to be done with it. Oh, hair in my chapstick. So the next one. I lifted this book up and just felt how heavy it was. And I'm like, oh, what have I done? I wasn't that nervous about it until I saw how thick this book is. How many pages are we going on here now, Mr. John Gwynn? 
It's almost 750 pages long. So this is a chonky book that has been added. Uh, but I do absolutely love this series. I have, oh, I've had such a good time with it. It is so thick to be adding on. This is an adult high fantasy series, Norse inspired, huge world, very political and military focused. We have gods, we have a war, we have these mythical creatures that are coming back, and we have a lot of characters huge cast of characters, which in the last book, they put a list of them at the beginning so we could help keep them straight. I hope they did it again. Yep, we did it again because I referred to that a couple times in the second book. I am so excited to continue on with this series. It's going to be a good time. I really love this book, but I am very nervous that I just added a 750 page book on when I just went back to the beginning of my game. It's a little nerve wracking. Let's let's fingers crossed that's nice for the rest of the time. Just because I said that you watch, I'm going to hit like five more wormholes and roll like five twos. It's fine. It's fine. OK, here we go with roll number seven. But we are back at the beginning. Seven. Not a small number. OK, we got this. Ooh, okay. A book with royalty in it. That very doable. Can do. Okay, first roll of the second time through the game. We got a star, which is nice. And this is a book with royalty in it. Also nice. And for this one, I chose The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. This is the collection of short stories that is kind of a prequel to her Throne of Glass series. And I was told to read it after the third one, which... Obviously, I have already read since you saw at the beginning of this video that I completed my TBR from last month, and I'm really excited to jump into it. I don't really know how it's set up, what exactly we're going to be following here. I'm guessing we're following Selena, and yeah, I think this is going to be a good time. I've heard a lot of people really, really enjoy this, and there's a lot of like emotional feeling here since you're already connected to a lot of the characters, and this is set in a world that does have royalty in it, so this, the like land that she is in has a king and a queen. So definitely fits the prompt. And I'm continuing on with the series, which I love. So yeah, I'm excited to put this on, even though it's a little bit longer and I already am having a little bit of nervous nervousness about the length of my TBR since I had to start over. It's only a little over 400 pages. That's, that's doable. I can do this. Okay, at least we know we're not gonna hit that wormhole. <laughs> A 10, nice, big numbers, I need the big numbers. Oh, yes, oh, I'm so excited, that's a free spot, yay. Oh, it's a good day. Next roll, six, okay, not bad. Another star. And a mood read. Oh, I love this prompt. Yay. Thank you, long time ago me, for putting this one in. Okay, so we got a comet, which is awesome. I absolutely love the free spots, which I needed it. The game's been a little mean, so I did need that comet. And then we landed on a star, and the prompt was mood read, which I am very happy about. So for this prompt, I can mood read throughout the month whatever book I want to read. I don't need to pick a book right now because that would kind of defeat the purpose of mood read. And so I will let you guys know on my next TBR, my TBR for July, which book that I chose to read, or if I'm vlogging when I happen to read that book, then I'll put it in there as well. But this is awesome. I love having this like little bit of a freebie. I think it'll help me out. Plus I'll be able to read a book that I'm just kind of in the mood for in the middle of the month. Cause sometimes I want to read books and I just feel like I shouldn't or can't because they're not on my TBR and I don't want to like waste my time. So yeah, I, I love this. I'm gonna like keep this little like, freebie in my back pocket for when I want to choose a different book. I'm happy about this. Roll number 10, I think. Oh gosh. Five, not bad. One, two, three, four. Oh, did, did, I, did I say not bad? Did I really say that? Oh, oh, it's painful. Oh, it is so painful. Mm. 
So we went from mood read, which was awesome, to wormhole, which was not awesome. And I think this is the wormhole that sends you back the farthest within the game. So of course that's the one that I hit. So let's grab my jar again. Oh, you know what would be the absolute worst is if I land, if I pulled Faithful and the Fallen again, and I had to read another really, really long adult high fantasy book. Whew. Oh, this is scary. I'm a little scared, guys. I feel like I'm a lot more nervous now than I was for my first pull, because there are some really long series in here. And there's also some series that I just don't feel like reading. Okay, I've got it. Please be nice, please be nice, please be nice. Oh, can you read it? Can I read it? Up and under, oh! Okay, so this is the Up and Under series. It says it's by like A. Deborah Baker, I think, but it's actually by um, Sean and McGuire, like A. Deborah Baker's a pen name. And this is a series that is kind of referenced quite a bit within the middle game book. And so I read the first book in the series and I'm not really in love with it. I thought it was okay. It's definitely very whimsical and different and bizarre. So that was very interesting to read about, but it's not something I'm very invested in. I will continue with it though because I drew it and I think I need to now leave this paper out because I think there are only two books out in that series right now so let us put a cap back on that and that's another book added but nicely enough that is a novella so I'm not mad about it even though it's not a series I was super interested in continuing at this point it's a novella you can't really get mad when it throws that on there for a wormhole pick so I guess that we are going to be reading the next book. I don't remember what it's called, so I'll put the picture up here so you guys can see it. Uh, but yeah, I, th I think this will be pretty good. I whew, feel better with a novella on there instead of, you know, the next Wheel of Time book. Okay, roll number 11 and we're not even halfway through the board. Love this for me. Seven. I think seven's a good one. I hope. Okay. A sun. That's fine. That's fine. Ooh, a book 390 to 420 pages. That might be hard for me. Okay, we got another sun, which hasn't been super nice to me. Sun prompt is 390 to 420 pages. And I actually kind of struggled finding a book that would fit this. I have a lot of books that are a lot longer than that. And then I have like novellas and graphic novels that are obviously significantly shorter. But I did find one, uh, The Black Tongue Thief by Christopher Buhlman. Oh, I could have butchered that. And I really don't know a whole ton about this, except I think there's a thief in it and he steals something that ends up getting him stuck on this quest. I've heard that it's very good, very entertaining. I think it's a little bit funny, has some humor in there, and it's not super long. It's, oh gosh, let me go look at the exact page number so I can prove to you that it fits the prompt. And it is 413 pages, which I think is definitely doable. Plus it's a little bit smaller of a book. The words aren't very big, but I think this should be a fairly quick read. And it looks like a lot of fun. Plus I really love the cover. I don't know why I just love that kind of yellow, black and white feel to it. I think it's pretty awesome. That ominous tower in the background. I'm feeling the cover. I think this is gonna be a whole ton of fun. I'm excited to actually have it on my TBR, even though it's not one I was necessarily gravitating towards this month. I have been looking into reading this for quite a while. So I'm, I'm not too mad about this. Okay, we... We do not want a seven. I'm counting ahead this time, so I can't, so I don't say it's a good roll when it's not a good roll. Okay, no seven, no seven. Five, haha, -ha, I like it. Okay. And a star, all good things. Our prompt is niece pick. Ooh, I like that one. So my niece gets to pick me what book I read. Little nervous. But it should, it should be good. Oh. So we got another star, and for that, the prompt was niece pick. Now, I have 
texted my niece and I'm waiting for her to get back to me with her choice. So I'm going to keep moving forward in this game because I feel like odds of her picking a book that I have already put onto my TBR are low. And if she does happen to do that for one that comes like later, in the game, then I'll just tell her she needs to pick another one. So yeah, I'm going to wait for her to let me know and then I will just insert a clip of me talking about her choice here so that I can continue filming my game and I don't have to wait. So yeah, I'm really excited about this though. I like when she gets to pick for me. She loves reading and she's 13 and so she's really getting into like the YA now and it's just a lot of fun. And so I'm really excited to see what she chooses for me. I feel like she's probably not going to choose anything that's a thousand pages long, so at least I have that on my side. Okay, so here's a clip of me showing you what my niece picked for me to read. She chose Never Seen, which is the next book in the Keeper of the Lost City series. It is book four. It is a chonky book for a middle grade fantasy, but I'm really excited about this. She has already read this whole series. I actually I think I bought her a lot of the books in the series just because she was super into it and was really, really enjoying it. And so I just had a lot of fun watching her read it and getting into like a fantasy series because I also completely enjoy fantasy. So I'm looking forward to continuing on with this series. I think it is definitely a middle grade feeling series, but I've enjoyed my time reading it. It's fun. It's easy. It's quick. And I think this is going to be just a good read and an easy one to add on when I'm doing things like plus I did end up getting the audiobooks when they were on sale. And so I do have the audiobooks for the rest of this series so I can listen to it while I do other things. So yes, thank you so much to my niece for choosing this book for me and adding it onto my TBR. Okay, so we don't want a two, which is okay. It's one of the least likely numbers to get. Um, probably just jinxed myself, but here we go. Ooh, an eight, much better. Oh, oh, <laughs> almost had a minor heart attack right there. Woo -hoo. Okay, a moon, yay. A book that I know almost nothing about. Fair enough, okay. Okay, next one, we got a moon, and this one I need to pick a book that I know almost nothing about. And for this one, I decided to go with The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. I really don't know anything about this one. I'm guessing it might have something to do with deer or elk. I, I can't tell if that's a deer or an elk there. Um, but and the Native Americans, because it says the only good Indians. That's about all I know, except for the fact that it is a horror book and people absolutely love it. It has gotten such good reviews. People absolutely adore this book. So I am really, really looking forward to it. It's not too long either. It's oh gosh, like just over 300 pages. So very, very doable. And when I went to the bookstore with my husband, this is the book he picked out for me out of a stack of books that I gave him as options. So I am definitely looking forward to it. And he wants to read it as well. So we might, you know, buddy read this one, which I am so excited for. I think this is going to be a whole lot of fun. And I'm excited to throw it on here. I think this, this is going to be a good time. And it's also good to know that this is the last prompt that I'm going to get. There's no way I'm going to hit the black hole and go back to the beginning. So at least I can breathe a little bit and know I'm going to be moving on to the spinner wheel. <laughs> okay, here we go with our final roll. No matter what we get, we're done. Feels good. And it's an eight. Yay. <gasps> okay, we're done. We are to the spinner wheel. And I would just like to apologize to anyone who plays my prompts and this game along with me every month because it was not nice this month to any of us. Okay, yay, we are now moving on to the spinner wheel. This is my favorite part of the game, I think. I just really have a lot of fun with it because I get 10 seconds uh, to be able to find a book based on the prompt that I get from the spinner wheel. Uh, so I'm going to bring this up. The prompt that we got last time was TikTok, so if we get that again, I'll have to spin again. I have 10 seconds. If I don't find a book in 10 seconds, then I have to spin again as well. So let's bring it up. I've never had to spin. I've had to spin twice because it picked the same uh, prompt as it did before, but I've never not found a book. So I'm feeling pretty good about this and I feel like I, I need it because I have so many books on my TBR already, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, screen recording. Let's make sure this is on. Yes, it is. Okay, here we go. Blue 
the cover. Oh, shice. These are all, these are all black. Those one, no. Oh, this one has, no, she's green. Oh, crap. Oh. You've, you've got to be kidding me. Like, I was, I had such a good streak going with my spinner wheels. I, okay, I feel really dumb right now, uh, but I went, I went and grabbed Legends and Lattes because I thought she was blue, uh, this character on here, and no. Nah, she's green. She's green. Okay, so now I need to find a book with blue on the cover, and then I have to spin again. Dang it. Okay, so since I had a lot of time to figure it out, I decided to go with Fables. This is a graphic novel. It's by several authors, but it does have blue over here on the cover, so this is what I'm counting. I feel like since I had so much time to just kind of relax and think about it, I could find a graphic novel that fit this so I wouldn't have to pay put another thick book on there. I'm interested to see if I like this. I think this is a graphic novel series that is kind of based on the premise of fairy tale characters and creatures have come into our world and kind of like um, Once Upon a Time, the TV show. I think that's kind of along the same lines of this gra graphic novel series. I'm interested to see if I like it because the art style doesn't exactly strike me as something I will absolutely love, but it is a graphic novel, it is shorter, and I think I need it on my TBR. So I, I know I'll have to spin again because I didn't get one, but at least now I could find a graphic novel if we're looking at the silver lining of this. Okay, now we're gonna spin again. You know, as I'm looking, I have many books around me with blue on the cover and I'm very disappointed in myself that I jumped straight to that one just because I wanted to read it. It's fine though. Here we go. Adult fantasy, that I can do. Okay. Not, nope. Huh. I got it. You. We're not friends anymore. So, since I grabbed this one the first time, it was just sitting over there and I knew it was right there and I know this is an adult fantasy and a novel of high fantasy and low stakes. I think this sounds perfect. I have heard amazing things about this book. People who read a lot of adult high fantasy have been reading it and loving it. It's just a slice of life story about an orc who opens a coffee shop and could it be any cuter? Just the premise. I am so excited about it. I'm really, really looking forward to reading this book. And just like, look at that cute little cover. And this is also a self-published fantasy book. So I'm really excited to jump into it. This is my Patreon buddy read for the month of June. I am really, really looking forward to reading this with my Patreon, seeing their thoughts. I just sounds like the perfect cozy fantasy and I hope that everyone loves it so much. I have also been reading our buddy read picks for each month in the live sprints with my Patreons. And so I think it's going to be a lot of fun to just kind of read this together and they can get my live reactions and feelings as I'm going through it. And I'm really excited that my Patreons picked it for the month of June. It just fits perfectly. Final book on my TBR. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm a little scared. Okay, so here's my stack. Oh gosh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, here's my stack of the books that I own. We'll go through these first and then I'll mention the ones that I don't own that are also on this list. So we have The Only Good Indians for a book I know almost nothing about, The Black Tongue Thief for a book between 390 and 420 pages, Fool's Assassin for for, oh gosh, what was this one for? A booktuber fave. Um, Legends and Lattes for a spinner wheel, the second spinner wheel. That is an adult fantasy. Fables for a book that has blue on the cover. The Assassin's Blade for a book that has royalty. Ruin for a wormhole pick. And Ruthless Fae for a special edition. And then on top of this, we have 
Beach Read for a uh, Treat Your Shelf, and then we have Book Lovers for a book with the title Between 10 and 12 Letters. We also have a Mood Read that's going to be on here as well. We have my niece pick, which you guys will know what it is, but at this point I do not know, so that as well will be on here. We have the next book in the Up and Under series for the Wormhole pick. We have Evershore for a the Random Number Generator pick, and I think that's it. I, I think that's all the books. How many is that? Eight plus Beach Read plus Book Lovers plus Evershore plus Up and Under plus Niece Pick. Thirteen. Oh, plus Mood Read. Fourteen. There are fourteen books on this TBR. Whew. Okay, I might need to be judicious with that Mood Read for sure. So those are all the books that I am going to be reading Whew. for the month of June. That's a little bit out of control. That's a lot of books on my TBR. I am really excited about all of them and I'm really looking forward to jumping into them, but it's a little bit intimidating looking at that stack over there. I feel like I can do it, but it's gonna be like a crunch. I'm definitely gonna have to focus on reading quite a bit this month. Uh, let me know down in the comments what book you are the most excited to read in June. I'm also participating in a couple of readathons, the whatever-a-thon. I'm going to participate in that. I am, of course, going to be participating in my own 48-hour readathon that is happening towards the end of the month. If you have not seen that video yet, you should definitely check it out down below. I'll leave a link to the announcement. It's just going to be a 48-hour TBR mini star hop, like I said at the beginning of the video, and I'm really excited for it. And... That is the end of this TBR video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments of this out of control TBR and whether you think I'll be able to do it or not. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me and to see everything related to the TBR mini readathon and also whether I complete this TBR or not, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll be notified when I post new content and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.